Improve your ping and reduce lag with haste. Start your free trial today. Alright, what's up? What's going on guys? Captain Monk here, and today's game we're playing some Rengar in the jungle, rocking the new skin Mecha Rengar. I'm so excited about this skin guys, because when Kha'Zix, the rival for Rengar, came out, he came out with a Mecha skin. But now we've also got a Mecha skin for Rengar, and this skin, I think it honestly dethrones Mecha Kha'Zix in a way. I mean, look at this recall, dude. You're like a Transformer, but you turn into a freaking Batmobile, and you do a bunch of donuts. Like, that is so cool. It is so sweet. And meanwhile, like, Kha'Zix has recalled with the Mecha skin. All it does is, like, bend over and get ready to, like, get ready for a good shafting, which <laughs> I think in a way might be what ends up happening in this game because we are against the Kha'Zix in today's game. And I want to make a quick side note, and not only just Rengar versus Kha'Zix, but also the rune choices we're each taking. He's taking Electrocute, and I am taking Dark Harvest. Now, I've played many games on the PvE with both these rune setups, and I want to go ahead and tell you guys a little, little, little secret secret, a little something something on the side. If you're looking to snowball right off the bat, Electrocute is better. 100%, hands down. Uh, also, side note, look at how cool this is. This mecha effect with the skin for when you're in your brush or your alt. So, so cool. Um, oops, I should probably hop out of the brush, though. When you have no frosty, hopping out of the brush or out of your passive with your alt, whatever it might be, does generate one fury, or ferocity, I should say. But yeah, with uh, the mass, the rune setups for each running, uh, I'm gonna do much more damage later on to the game, provided I don't just screw up all game long. Provided I have a aggressively average game, by about 15 to 20 minutes, my Dark Harvest will do more damage than Electrocute, but it won't require me hitting three things. It'll require me hitting an auto attack, which is pretty commonly gonna happen with Rangar because you have your passive to create opportunities to like hop into the fight, right? So. Yeah, early game, we have to be careful against the Kha'Zix. But that's already, like, something about this matchup that's there. Rengar already loses this matchup early, so I might as well steer into the skid and have a way better payoff for it, right? Rather than taking Thunderlords, or Electrocute as it's called now, in the early game, and trying to bash heads with Kha'Zix and likely lose, because that's how that matchup normally goes in the early game. Because they nerfed the damage on Rengar's Q, right? Like, it's really good when you have full ferocity, it's like triple the damage now compared to your regular one. But when you don't have Ferocity, it's just weak. Now, I'm noticing some shenanigans that happen in top lane. They have a top lane Rengar in today's game, and their Kha'Zix is here, but keep in mind, I'm really low. So I'll fight him if the opportunity is, like, perfect, but I don't want to give him the drop. I want to only provide the drop. So let's go ahead and just loop on over here and farm up the Krugs. Uh, one thing I want to mention as well with our Rengar game today, guys, is we are rocking with the Talisman as our jungle item to start. And I know the recommended is Hunter's Machete, which might bring up the question of why did I switch it up? Uh, I've tried a few different games, and here's what I've consistently found. No no one option's better. It's about what you want. Do you want to clear the jungle faster with low HP? Or do you want to clear it more slowly, but sustain better? I prefer the sustain. It allows me to set myself up a little bit better for better, making better plays later on. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, jeez, hold on. That flash was <laughs> all kinds of questionable. Uh, I'm really low here, but their Rengar is also really low. But I don't know if he's low enough. But if he's out of Ferocity and I get the drop on him... Like, let's just see if I can... Gotcha. <laughs> he did not see that coming. The surprise factor definitely came in. Oh, shit. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I want to make another side note in saying that I wasn't really planning on recording a mirror match game. But since... And I'm going to have to flash here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. He might still hop on me here, but... This is the best... Oh! Oh, my God, dude, I live. That was so good. My W healed me perfectly there. Luck this W. Is he saying he's, that I got lucky? Is he saying that... I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not going to try to make sense out of someone who doesn't make sense. Let's just move, worry about our own things and pick up ourselves some items here. The control ward as well as the potion alongside our jungle item with the longsword. So yeah, I mean, Hunter's Machete. Faster clear. Hunter's Talisman. More sustain. You choose what makes more sense for you. I prefer having more sustain because it just sets me up better for whatever plays I decide to pursue uh, as far as HP goes. But it's not the only way to go by any means. So I'm going to the Gromp here and probably the Scuttle Crab as well and then look to gank ball lane or something because I do want to get a level 5 and then gank because when you have a level advantage as a jungler, ganking ball lane becomes a lot more safe. When you don't, it just ends up being really risky, I find, in the bot lane. And. <laughs> oh man. That was not what I meant to do. That's okay. We'll have other control words to place better later on. 
I kind of just had a little bit of a brain fart where I ended up clicking the wrong button when I was aiming at the scuttle crab. It's no big deal, though. It just definitely will get found a little bit sooner. So I'm kind of thinking with Malzahar pretty pushed up here, when I wait for Orianna and we maybe group together and get him up, I think it might be okay. I'll start walking in. He does have his passive here, so there we go. He's going to have the ability to block our first spell. But if we just keep walking at him here. I'm trying to like bait him out a little bit further. But yeah, he's not going to take the bait. Let's just dip out. There's just not much to do on the map right now, because I don't really want to invade the Kha'Zix, because like I said, in that trading setup, we just wouldn't do as well at Dark Harvest in the early game. So I'm looking for gank opportunities instead and farming opportunities. And there just wasn't really much to farm in our jungle either. We'll just take the Raptors for now. Get our Wolves, maybe. Maybe we'll be level 6 soon, and maybe we can gank mid. It might make more sense just to wait for Blue. We'll figure it out as, as, the, as the tides come. So Blitz wants to go for Malzahar, okay. See, if Blitz wants to help get Malzahar, I can show up too. And the 3v1 makes it really tough for Malzahar to survive it. So let's let's all join this. And that's a much better control replacement. Oh, here we go. If I get the bola down, see, that's the problem. You can't hook first. You need to wait. Because Malzahar passive blocks the first spell that hits him, right? So, nothing counted. Was ganged out of that. I just need to get a little bit closer to get my bullet down or Orion to break the uh, shield. But Orion actually just killed Melzahar straight up, so. <laughs> Let's get the assist and everything. That totally works out. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get pretty low from this blue buff clear, but once I have it, I'll have level 6. So I'll just go back, get myself what other items I can afford, and then really put a hurting on their team. Yeah, it'd be tough to put a hurting on their team with this much HP. But a uh, quick little side note that actually is kind of amusing is you can see the, both these Blitzcranks look the same because both rock the same skin. But Riot just released two new Blitzcrank skins that both look arguably pretty different. Which is kind of interesting to me. And I'm just going to buy another controller because I know I'm going to have to replace that one because I screwed up. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It just seems weird to me that they released two skins for Blitzcrank. Like, one's enough, Riot. But why don't you give us skins for other champions who could uh, really benefit from it? Like, not to put too much flack on Riot right now, because, like, this, this mecha skin's pretty cool. But it's been a long time coming. Like, when was the last time we actually had a good Rengar skin? Like, Night Hunter Rengar? I don't count Samsung White, because that was, like, a Teams-themed skin. And those ones are always just a little bit less impressive, just because they make so many of them. And with the way mid lane's looking, I'm going to try and gank mid. Yeah, Orianna's pretty low, but I think I can kill his Malzahar. Got damage, yeah. There we go. Yeah, as we're hopping, we toss the bowl out, making sure we can slow him down right as we land, and then the damage comes in from other spells. Jesus, just leave me alone. You're the one trying to kill my teammate, man. If you're gonna try and kill my teammate, I'm gonna make you pay for it. And this looks like this Rengar wants to back off, but if Olaf just stays arranged, range... Oh, jeez, he's flashing into this brush, really. I think we have this guy, though. Damage is there. Yeah, they always attacks. Oh, Olaf, though. Oh, jeez. <laughs> he barely dies to that one. That's unfortunate. I'm just going to push in the wave here. Yeah, I was thinking as long as Olaf provided, like, those slowing axes so I could pursue the Rengar, we'd be okay. He, get, he provided a little bit more than he needed to. That's okay, though. So I'm, I'm up the level of this Kha'Zix. Like, you do not want to fight me, dude. You seriously don't want to fight me. Where are you at? Got him. Oh, the TP's coming in. I got I to tip out. Okay, nice. With RTP coming in, the guy knew he couldn't fight me. But yeah, once you're, once you're at a point with Rengar where you're a little bit ahead of Kha'Zix, it's pretty easy to snowball that because with Rengar's full frosty Q, it does so much damage. <laughs> Rengar suck damage. <laughs> Doesn't even make sense. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> oh, it's like this guy's trying to talk English or something. He's, he's getting close, but he's missing a few words. Okay, I'll counter jungle with the Kha'Zix. Do what we do best as Rengar. Once we get a little bit of a head, we snowball it. Hello. Actually, I probably don't want to fight this one. Yeah, that was a mistake. <laughs> that was a mistake, hands down. Oh, man. Kha'Zix suck damage. No, he put the DMG. 
put a winky face though. <laughs> yeah, that was a really dumb fight though. Two problems with that fight. Number one, actually no, three. One, I was isolated. A lot of isolation damage came my way. Number two, I used my bola to start it off with the empowered bola, and that like really decreased my total damage output. I did that because it forced the fight, which was what I wanted. But forcing the fight was not what we wanted. We wanted a good fight, not a forced fight. So I made a mistake there with that. And is he gonna find my control work? He is not gonna find it. Awesome. Uh, and then number three was that I was just low. It was full health, so it was just a bad fight to pick just for that reason too. Now, Oriana's ult did whiff here, but unfortunately for her, Katzix is ganking. But I think she'll live here. She has the barrier. My ultimate is here. I think I can maybe kill the Malzahar if he sticks around. Oh, yeah, for sure. Let's go, buddy. You can keep on running, but we have the move speed. Come on. The reach. Got him. And now it'll step out. Oh, burn out with the red buff, buddy. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Oh, man, Naringar's here. What the heck? Uh, come on, please. Oh, I got him. Triple kill for the Rengar. That was amazing, dude. Yeah, I mean, running on that Malzahar was risky as all hell. Another Rengar suck damage. Jeez. <laughs> it was risky, but I knew that worst case scenario, I kill him and then just keep running and Kazakh kills me. But then it's still a one for one. And I kind of figured with my Red Smite being available and how much damage Rengar can do when you generate Fury, uh, yeah, I would be fine. And luckily for me, I was right. It came close, though. It definitely did come close. No question about that in anyone's mind. Alright, the blue's almost up here. I'm gonna go back to base and then make my bottom lock, probably. So I'll have my ultimate in another minute here, so if I was to go back, buy some items, and then work my bottom with the buff, we'll be all set. So I get the cooldown boots here. Those would be good to have, but also an extra serrated dirk. And I've almost had another long sword, so I might as well buy one more just because I'm close. We are, of course, going towards the dust blade. We are doing an AD Rangar build in today's game. My last Rengar video was like almost a year ago now, and in that video I did a pretty similar build, in fact it might be the exact same, but the items all individually changed, so while it's still the best build, and not much has changed in the grand scheme of things for Rengar in that regard, there's still stuff to show that's new, and for that reason I'm going to be doing the same build, but I think with this skin being as cool as it is, and Rengar just being kind of on the hype train right now, with that for that reason, I might make a few videos of Rengar showing off different things you can do like AP Rengar, uh, Grasp of the Undying, Top Rengar, like this guy's trying but failing at. Just, you know, a variety of stuff. Now, I've got my ultimate here in about five seconds. I'd love to come bottom. Looks like the Blitzcrank might already be dead. The Ezreal not quite getting him, and their team is showing up here. Uh, I mean, I kind of want to hear about it, but I don't know that I can. I'm going to try and at least kill the Blitzcrank. Yeah, I can get the Blitzcrank. Oh, baby, you're just getting destroyed. The Devil comes in. All right, Kazakh, you want to do this? You want to come at this Rengar? Yeah, you want nothing to do with this. Let's give him a... Let's give him this one. Yeah. <laughs> the Fiora emoticon. Oh, let's give him some dancing. Uh, uh. Take a bola. Take a second one. Nope. If he comes close, I would hop off out of the brush, but he's probably not going to do that. But just to kind of come back to what I was talking about earlier, I was mentioning to you guys the difference between Dark Harvest and Thunderlords. Our Dark Harvest, to this point in the game, has done 953 damage. Kazakh's Electrocute has done 246. Now, this is provided their Kazakh's is playing bad. He's only going 2-2, two two. he's 2 levels down, he's not really doing much this game. But still, that just gives you a few little numbers to kind of think about with Dark Harvest. It is, you don't really notice it, but it makes a huge difference. It's really strong. I'm going to try and get this Malzahar, because I think we can. Yeah, I'm just going to walk in and kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Malzahar. Uh, you gotta love those ones, the drive-bys. Uh, one other thing I want to mention with Rengar and the runes is I think Predator, unbelievable. How do you not believe that, dude? Like, just don't overextend and ward some more. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> but yeah, the, the Predator rune, the Keystone rune or Mastery rune, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I think it would be really good in theory for Rengar, and I tried it a few times, and it was, in theory, very good, and in practice, very good. But does it compare to Dark Harvest, Electrocute, or even Phase Rush? No. No, it doesn't. It really doesn't provide you much. It's a move speed and a small damage buff. And the damage buff I'm talking about is, like, minuscule. It's really not that good. So, I think if they buff Predator, Predator might become the more mainstream Rengar Keystone Rune. But for right now, it's just it sucks. Alright, I'm gonna gank bottom because I saw the hook come in here. I think we can just blow up this Graves. Yep, we totally can. I'm just gonna drop the Turret Dagger real quick and then come back in. 
for the finisher. There we go. Nice. I'll clean up the turret. Easy kills. Okay. And with that, I think we have the first turret of bot lane. And I think it might be worth our while to also get the dragon. We might as well. This has been a nice game here so far, though. Going 11-1-1, one, one, picking off all these kills left and right. And maybe we'll have enough time in this game to show you guys uh, Rengar with... I mean, how many stacks do I have? I already have five stacks. So I guess I don't really get any benefit from, like, the rivalry sort of in-game thing with Kha'Zix. For a while there, you would get a fully stacked bone too. Uh, then they made it so that it was a Kha'Zix head. Little things like that. Uh, and Kha'Zix gets a final evolution. Like a fourth one, instead of just the three. If... He beats Rengar in that little thing, but I don't know. We may not have time to see that because the game might end before then. That often happens. But it might also just be that there's no benefit for Rengar anymore. Who knows why? Oh well. So their Kha'Zix is going topside. I'm going to go back here, finish up our Dust Blade because that's going to be a really good buy for us. But also buy more items towards our Ghost Blade for our next item. And I'm going to come top and see if I can counter what their Rengar and Kha'Zix might be setting up. The Graves, I mean, Graves AD carry went Infinity Edge. Like, I think Graves AD carry has a little bit more potential than this guy's showing, but it's not going to matter because he doesn't have any crit yet for his Infinity Edge. So once he has two items, we'll really see what that's capable of. But for the time being, let's just go ahead and one shot this Kha'Zix. Yep. <laughs> the thousand damage crit. The Rengar damage, man. Boom. And the Kha'Zix is like, what? Dude, that's Dust Blade and the damage that Rengar can dish out. It's pretty damn crazy. Alright, I might as well just get the Rift Herald now. There's not much in Kha'Zix's jungle to take, only the Wolves and the Krugs are up. A thousand crit. Yeah, I mean, Dust Blade plus the damage that I already have built from five stacks of my passive. Like, and it crits, because it's my ult. Like, it's gonna be damage. <laughs> yeah, Rengar's nuts, dude. You just gotta get ahead of him, though. That's the problem, is you can't really play him effectively from behind. You really do need to get ahead. And I was kind of thinking I would take the Rift Herald buff, but Olaf got it somehow. I'm not really worried about it, though. I don't really want to use it to do much. Yay, Rengar balanced. I mean, you guys have a Rengar on your team. Don't complain about being unbalanced if you're going to have him on your team, too. And he's not popping off. You gotta respect the player a little bit. You know, just, just, just a little. Right? Just, just, just a smidge. But nah, these guys aren't about the respect. Alright, I'm going to get myself the blue real quick. I see a fight's happening bot lane, and I want to join it. But I'm no use down there anyways until I have my ultimate. And that's a few seconds away, so I'll just clean this up. Got ourselves the blue. Got the ultimate. I'm believe I'm thinking about the 2v1. It's just a question of who we focus first. I think Kazakhs will hop away. Graves won't really be able to get away. So let's see what we can do. Our tower as well. Where'd you go, Kazakhs? I thought he went to that rush. Oh, no, he's all the way back there. They're going so far away from me, dude. This is ridiculous. Yeah, they really want nothing to do with me. <laughs> <laughs> they both ran all the way back to their base. <laughs> the question marks in chat. <laughs> oh, they really are not about the Rengar life whatsoever. Oh, Malzahar's here though. I wonder if... Oh my god, I'm getting stunned under the turret. The heals... Oh! The Ignite's getting me, but the shields... Oh, okay. Okay. I'll admit, I'll admit, I got really saved there hard by Orianna. But, at the end of the day... Like, still worked out as I planned. So, I'll plan, baby. <laughs> Alright, getting ourselves the Ghost Blade. And also gonna work towards the Infinity Edge next. I love the Infinity Edge as my third non jungle item, damage item, as Rengar. Just because when you are ulting, your ultimate always crits. So, if you make that crit do even more damage. I mean, you saw the Kazakhs complaining about my damage earlier with the ult. It's gonna get even nuttier. Provided the game doesn't end before then, of course. I'm always kind of thinking about these plans with a grain of salt, because it is the PB, people tend to quit, and it makes me all kinds of sad. But so far, the game hasn't ended before 15 minutes, so thank goodness for that. Because that's normally how it goes, it's like bang on 15 minutes, they surrender, and it's just like, oh, great. But not this game. Not this game so far, at least. I'm knocking on the wood here as I say all these things, though, because I really want to keep playing, I'm having fun. Alright, he's on the run, but we are the Rengar. We've got the move speed, we got the ultimate, we got the ghost blade. Their Rengar is in for a lot of hurt. <laughs> See you later, buddy. And there, Kazix is trying to recall, but we, we, just, we just can't be having that. No, no, we can't. We can't have that. Oh, we get this guy? Oh shit, I'm on range. Shit. I was trying to hop from the brush and I messed it up. The most basic of Rengar mechanics. Ooh, the Ezel sniping him out. Nice. 
Alright, I'm gonna uh, go steal their blue, I guess. I may as well hand it off. It, it, that doesn't make sense. I was actually gonna take it, but then I realized, wait, I'm at 40% CDR, and I have no mana. Like, what am I doing? I just hand this off. It looks like my team dis does manage to cubes. Uh, kill the Graves as well. Nice. BF Sword being picked up here. I'll also go bottom lane and get some farm for a little bit here. We're sitting at 15-1. We're doing alright this game. I like I like having a score line like this. And I like how they keep complaining that Rengar is balanced. It's like, but you guys have a Rengar too. <laughs> yeah, Ali Muse. Thinking the same way I'm thinking. Right, I'm just going to get this real quick. How much damage we're doing, man? 408 AD. Only 12 off of the magical number. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of kidding, but I'm also kind of not at the same time. I'll leave you guys to figure out which one I'm more doing. Kidding or not kidding. Might as well get this as well. I want to see if I can get the 300 stacks of Dark, dark Harvest. Because again, to kind of compare, like my Dark Harvest has done 2,000 damage to their team this game. And that's a lot of damage. And right now it's 428 damage. Whereas Electrocute does 150 plus that 62. That's just like, that's nothing. Dark Harvest is just so powerful. Alright, I got the red. It looks like their team is actually beating up my team in the jungle here a little bit, so I'm going to try and come in for a cleanup. Oh! Alright, Graves is done. Who's next? Malzahar? Alright, double kill comes in, but where's their Rengar? Yeah, that was kind of anticlimactic. I, I probably should have showed up sooner before more of them died, so I could have killed more of them, but that's okay. You luck for Rengar. Nor Ongar lose. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's all I can really say. Okay. Oh, you want? I want to get this Elder Dragon, or not Elder? It's Infernal. I want the extra AD that provides. I want to add that to my arsenal of AD for at 410 with that extra. What is that? 8% from Infernal Dragon. I might put us to where we want to be. Give me this. Oops, I used to power bowl on the dragon. Not bland. Alright, what AD we at? 450. The dragon just basically gave us 40 AD. That is so powerful. Like, holy moly. I didn't realize how much AD that would actually be. Alright, we can almost get the infinity edge. We're not quite there yet, but we're, we're, we're approaching there. It'll happen sooner or later here. I really just want to show the infinity edge crits, dude. Like, <laughs> it's really insane. Like, there might be a point in the game this time around where someone's full health that we just hop and that's it. That's just over. The thing is with Rengar though, is you don't often know when it's just the hop that kills them because you often will land and use your bola as you're landing and use your Q and just, oops. <laughs> nice try, guy. Nice. Nice try, guy. <laughs> Honestly, I should have handed it to him though. I really, really should have. Like, I full well will admit that. I'm sorry about that, but I just, I wanted it. <laughs> oh, I see what's happening. What's gonna happen here with Malzahar? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you wanna you wanna do this? You wanna duke it out? Get the fuck out of here! Oh, this Rango, this uh, oh shit. Okay, I'm gonna die here. I got hooked up by Blitzcrank in silence, so I couldn't really do anything. I was gonna flash into the brush and just burst the graves, but by that point, I was already dead, so it wasn't gonna work out. But dude, I basically one shot that Malzahar. He had like the smallest sliver after my initial burst from jumping on him. Yay, kill Rango. <laughs> I'm almost at 20 kills though, and they're not surrendering yet, so maybe I'll hit the 20 kills. <laughs> oh man, if our team gets this tower, I'm not sure how close I'll be. I'm pretty close to that BF sword towards a GA, and that would be good. Alright, their team's trying to respawn now. Yeah, I think GA would be a good way to round things off. Edge of Knight's also a good option, but Edge of Knight is just an extra active that I don't have to worry about, because once you get into the fight, you want to button mash, and I don't know, I'm just not really about it. it looks like the Malzahar, Oh. Is he gonna live? The axe might come in for the snipe. Yeah, it will. Nice. A lot of snipes out. And who is alive? Looks like we also killed their their Rengar. But we are gonna lose Olaf. All right, let's just get red real quick. I have enough for a BF sword now as well, which would be great. And we're at 330 stacks of our Dark Harvest. It's so much damage potential, man. People don't realize, but it's so. It's probably the best. Uh, I would say Dark Harvest is the best rune overall as far as just like it being good innovative and just like hitting the effectiveness on multiple champions there are very few champions who don't make use out of having an empowered auto attack right oops 
just got a crab moving in weird ways. I wasn't trying to steal it. I know you put the work in. I just wanted to help. I just wanted to lend a help, help in hand. This one's all yours. I'm trying to I'm trying to be a better Rengar. Uh, another thing that's kind of cool about Dark Harvest is you can Oops, you can pick up souls and get extra stats from actually picking them up. And I wish you see those Rengar. This guy's TP'd like a dum dum. <laughs> he just takes so much damage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they just take so much damage from me. Oh, it's hilarious. Oh, they already had a one shot on Kazix. I'm pretty sure I saw it in the corner of my eye. Alright, let's. Wait, where you have Infinity Edge? It's this item we're getting. Sorry, I thought BF Sword and I immediately think Infinity Edge, but. Fingers instant pop me. Get some armor, you big dum dum. Come on. You know I'm one shotting people and no one has armor. The most armor they have is Glacial Shroud and Ninja Tabby. It's like they're not even thinking. But yeah, you can get souls, which uh, buff up the damage of your Dark Harvest with things that you don't have to even kill. As long as the souls are just sitting there from recently uh, being removed from the unit, you can pick them up. So, like, even if you don't get the assist, you can just, like, walk over the dead body and get the souls. Or if you walk near a siege man, they just die. You'll get the souls. Little things like that, right? I already have a red, so I'm all set. The Blitzcrank's getting hooked here but by another Blitzcrank. Uh, he's not my prime target, though. That's the thing. Mr. Kazakh score. Ooh, Graves. <laughs> Literal one-shot. Get wrecked, son. Alright, I'm dead. I don't even care, though. I don't even care. I literally one-shot Graves. I just popped. That was it. <laughs> nah, I, I, don't, I don't have to even ask, man. I think they know. I think they know. I have myself the GA now, so I'm all set. Now from here, I can even go harder with the suicide place and just get revived. Okay, boys. Let's close. Actually, I'm playing with two ladies this game. Ali and uh, Pika are both ladies, so let's say let's say something more more sexually including than boys. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's like the right phrasing for that. <laughs> okay, okay, team. I'm ready to win now. I'll stop the suicide place. And with that tower, I think I'll have enough for the elixir, and I will. How, how much AD? Oh, not quite 600 AD. I'm reporting right for not allowing me to have that 600 AD. Oh! Kazakh's with this. With the drive-by snipe as he's flying by. Jeez. Oh, and she didn't bury her. That's... That's just not what you want. It's not what you want at all. It's okay. We're gonna clean up the Gromp here real quick. Nice little crit added in there. <laughs> Fuck this, I crit. <laughs> Huge way to build up ball lane. There's just no benefit in me getting that blue over there. I'm just gonna let it slide. Oh, my team's on the run in the jungle. I'm wondering if I can come and clean this up. Let's pop the ultimate. Pop the ghost blade, get that move speed going. Ezreal, I will save you, my friend. Keep running. Oh, he's going back in. He's gonna find the kills himself. Does he need me? I want this kill. I want it. Yes, I got it. My chase wasn't in vain. I'm so sorry, Ezreal. I stole your multi-kill. <laughs> uh, Alright, killing off some minions here. If we push the waves in here... I mean, I have my ultimate pretty soon, so I got max CDR with this setup. I didn't overcap my CDR, though. That was one thing that was kind of occurring to me before the game, which uh, runes I wanted to run, because there are some runes that allow you to overcap your CDR and... Spam your ultimate with more effectiveness, things like that. I think it's called like the ultimate hat, and uh, this other one. Little things like that would be really, really good. But I like what I'm running instead because it gives me extra damage to low health targets, making it easier for me to snowball. But also some extra health back and extra gold when I get the kill. And those are like just really nice stats to have to make it easier to enable you to snowball. All right, I see Kazakh on the side. Let me one shot this guy. Let me do this. I'm just gonna run through the base. Run right on through it. Run rampant. And come on. No! No! They didn't let me die! No! Or, they didn't let me die. They didn't let me kill him. God damn it, dude. Did the Graves get armor? He didn't get armor. Alright. At this point, I'm just fucking feeding. At this point, I'm just bored. <laughs> oh, is Oriana gonna die here? I mean, the Shockwave's there. The damage is there. The Kazakh is not gonna do enough. And Blitzcrank might just solo kill the Rengar top. Wait, this guy sold all of his items for, like, lethality items. He was like, wow, the other Rengar's doing so well with it. I better sell our items and get lethality. 
Yeah, he, what he was doing before was like Black Cleaver Hydro, which is like more of a top lane esque build. In the jungle, you want Lethality, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, it's looking like our team's probably gonna be able to close the game out here without my help. I really shouldn't have done that last death. I was just being dumb and hoping I could like somehow clutch out a one shot on Graves again. But it was just, it was not worth it. And there's the surrender buff coming out. So hope you guys enjoyed the game here today. Sorry that it was kind of lackluster as far as the closing out of the game. It was kind of unclean, but we had a nice early game. We got ahead nice and early, and it was a fun time. So I hope you guys liked it. We got ourselves an S-plus on Rangar. I'm really glad about that, because I died a few times towards the end there in ways that I wasn't quite proud of. But we had a lot of gold. A lot of gold. So I like that. And what's there to see? 28,000 damage. We did not have the most, it looks like. Yeah, our Ezreal had a little bit more. But we still had a lot of damage. We managed to pick off some kills here and there. It's kind of tough to get a lot of damage done as Rangar in these charts because you're mostly single target, right? Like, you do have the ability to hit multiple targets with your Q. You're mostly picking one target off and then a target off and then a target off. So champions like Ezreal and Orianna, who are, like, consistently, from a distance, reaching and hitting people, but also hitting multiple people at a time with their AoE spells, just generally do more damage. So the fact that we still competed with that goes to say something for sure. So once again, hopefully you guys like this game today. If you did, make sure to drop that rating. It helps out so very much, and I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.